Good day, viewers. I am Dalentino Koka, and I welcome you to Dell with Electrical YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be showing you how to make use of an hydrometer to test the efficacy of the electrolytes in your tubular batteries. Tubular batteries are becoming very, very effective and is becoming in use these days as a result of the high cost of the dry cell batteries. For the tubular batteries, you could change the electrolytes as much as you could. You could top it with distilled water depending on the content or the efficacy of the electrolytes in your battery. So this is an hydrometer. We just got this hydrometer purposely for this class for us to carry out this practical to see how you can use this hydrometer to test the efficacy of the electrolytes in these tubular batteries. But for those of you that are using dry cell batteries, lithium ion batteries, unfortunately, you cannot use an hydrometer to test the efficacy of your battery. We have the digital meters that you can connect to the terminals of your battery to test the efficacy of your battery. Let's move ahead to carry out this experiment. If you look at this hydrometer, you will look, discover that there's a floater that has a green part, a white part, and the red part. The green part shows that the electrolyte is good. The white part shows that the electrolyte is fair. The red part shows that the electrolyte is dead and it needs to be recharged or replaced, depends on the level where it is. So now you see that the highest value we have is 1,300, while the lowest value is 1,100. So when your battery electrolyte is close to 1,100, that means the efficacy of that electrolyte is totally gone. It's either you go for an external charging or you replace the electrolyte totally. But if it's between 150 and 1,150 and 1,200, when you recharge back, you can get the electrolyte to come down to like 1,280 or 1,290. But for you to know if your electrolyte is good and will not eat the cells of your battery, the electrolyte should be in between 1,275 to 1280. If it's too much in 1300, that means the intensity or the acidic, the acidic level of that electrolyte is high and might damage the cell. So most times when they've done, they've topped your electrolyte for you, try to measure. If it's too high, you use distilled water to reduce the concentration so that it comes down to 1275 or 1270. That is the best level it will be. So these are new batteries. We've not put in the little hydrometer. So we'll open them like this and let's measure and let's measure directly to see what value. So we're going to just measure two cells. It's the same thing. Once you've measured the first one, you measure the second one. It's the same thing. So this is for we're going to measure two in battery one and two in battery two. So let's start with battery one. First, first of all, you should actually press down for safety purposes, so you can package it properly. But when you want to measure, you raise it up, so you can take some quantity of acid. So you press it first, let there be air, you, before you insert it. When you insert it, then you release, it's going to take some acid. You can see now that this electrolyte is in the fair position. So before I can use this battery for any inverter connection, I must make sure this battery is properly charged before it can be used. So I pour it back and let me test the other cell. So I would, I would, you have to press first, put it inside and release. Same thing is happening to this too. You can see too that um, it's in the fair position. So definitely I need to charge this thing properly for me to be able to use it again. If I don't charge it properly, I, I will definitely kill this battery. So that's for these two cells of battery. So for, um, for me now to go, let me also test this because there are two batteries that we use for the series and practical class. So we need to test these other two to ensure that the battery is two. It's the same principle that we're going to use. But well, let's test the second two. Maybe we are going to achieve a different result. So we we'll take the electrolyte. You can see this one is a little bit 
is you can see this one is closer to 1270 1275 but it still requires charging so this battery too must be very must be charged before i use them we'll go to the so let's test the efficacy of this to see if the concentration is right yep you can see that this is the only one that has a good concentration you can now see that the agiometer has risen to the green the floater is on the green position so out of the cells in this battery this is the only one that the efficacy is okay so this is how you know if the efficacy the concentration of electrolyte is like need to float to the green position so this battery needs to be properly charged before it can be used so that is the essence of having an electrometer to test the concentration of your electrolyte so i believe this video has been very useful to you if it has kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel so you can get updated we will upload more educative and useful videos Thank you very much.